Hello. So in this video, we're going to be doing factoring using the AC method. So in particular, this is another one of those uh, methods for factoring quadratic forms. Um, so again, if you remember, quadratic form or quadratic uh, polynomial, something of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. And the AC method is used for, so AC method is used for a not uh, 1. So a particular quadratic requires right, that the a is not 0, because otherwise it's really just a linear. Um, so moreover, the AC method is used when a itself is not 1. When a is 1, right, we use the, the coefficients method. So this is the, what do you do if it isn't 1? Well, here we go. So our goal, right, our goal is to split the b in this form to then factor by grouping. So this is really the sort of the two second version of the AC method is doing that. So let's look at sort of a concrete example and go through how that works. So for example, let's look at um, 6x squared plus 19x uh, plus 15. Okay. So the way this is going to work, step one, the reason it's called the AC method is because this is really what we're saying here is the product of A and C. So step one step one, uh, is to multiply A times C. So in this case, I'm going to get 6 times 15 equals 90. Okay. Step two. Find factors that add, uh, sorry, multiply, multiply to that thing, to that A times C value, and add to B. So in particular, if I'm looking at 90, I want factors of 90. So factors of 90. So I have 1 and 90. I have 2 and 45. I'm going to have 3 and 30. Uh, 4 doesn't go into it. I have 5 and 18. Uh, I obviously have 6 and 15, because that's how I got this thing in the first place. Uh, 7 and 8 don't work, so I have 9 and 10. Uh, and that's it. Okay. So I'm looking at the factors of 90, but I wanted to add to B. So I want to look through these factor lists and find ones that add up to 19. So adding these things together, eventually I will find that is what I want. Okay. So step three, split BX into the factors we found. specifically of the original polynomial back here. So here I had 6x squared plus 19x plus 15. And I want to rewrite that as 6x squared plus, and now I'm going to write it as 9x plus 10x. 
So I have the 9 and the 10, right? So I'm, I'm splitting it with those. And sort of by definition, those two things add to B. So that means that these two things, if I put them together, should get me back to 19. So this doesn't change anything. That's why it's really important that they add to B, so I'm not changing anything. Plus 15. And then step four. Vector by grouping. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and group you know, first two and the last two. So I'm going to have um, 6x squared plus 9x plus 10x plus 15. Common term here, I'm going to pull out a 3x, which is going to get me 2x plus 3. Here I'm going to pull out a 5, which is going to get me a 2x plus 3. This is good news because they match, right? Which is not surprising because otherwise this wouldn't have worked. Um, so then I'm going to have the 2x plus 3, the common term, and what's left over, 3x plus 5. And that's the AC method. Okay? So let me sort of. So I'll do another example in a second, but just as a quick review. I started off with some thing with an A that wasn't one, right? So I multiplied the A and the C together to get a number. I factored that number until I found a pair that added to the B. So nine times 10 is 90, nine plus 10 is 19. Then I took my original polynomial, and I split the B term as that pair of factors. So I went from 19x to 9x plus 10x, right, 9x, 10x. Then, this now has four terms, so I can group it as a group of two and a group of two. So that's what I did, and I factored by grouping. Okay. So let's look at, um, by way of another example, let's choose, let's see, uh, 2x cubed um, plus, let's say, uh, not cubed, sorry, squared. That's what I meant. 2x squared um, plus, let's say, 8x plus, uh, let's say, 6. Yeah, that'll work. OK. So then, this thing has an a that isn't 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is do the a times c. So I'm going to look at uh, 2 times 6, which is 12, and then find factors of 12. So I'm going to look at 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. I want them to add up to 8, so it turns out 2 and 6 work, right? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to have 2x squared plus, and I'm going to break that apart according to this. So I'm going to have 2x plus 6x, right? So the 8x becomes 2x plus 6x plus 6 group, and that will get me 2x as a common, gets me x plus 1, and 6, which gets me x plus 1, which gets me x plus 1, because it's common, 2x plus 6. And that's all there is to it. Okay. So again, um, the sort of only tricky part, right, is taking the a times c to get a number and then factoring that number to get something that multiplies to that but adds to b. Once you've split it, right, so once you've written it as a split, then it's just factor by grouping, just like we did in factor by grouping. Okay, that's it.